Hello, let's do the magical candy bags question here, which is a uh, heaps question. And so let me go through the problem here. So it says we have n bags of candy, and the ith bag contains this amount of pieces of candy. And it says each bag is magical. So, okay, it takes one minute to eat the pieces of candy in a bag. And when you finish, uh, the number of pieces is replaced by half the amount or the floor of half the amount, right? And then we have K minutes to eat as much candy as possible. How many pieces of candy can you eat? So, okay, let's look at the example to clarify what's going on. So we're given a an array and an integer here, right? So this array over here is the, the list here in Python. And then this would be an integer. And then they want you to output another integer. Okay, so how does this work? Um, you wanna maximize the amount of candy that you eat, right? In, with K, uh, K iterations, basically. So first you pick the seven, right? And then the seven gets replaced with seven over two, the floor of seven over two, which is, you know, three. Uh, so it's gonna be two, one, three, four, two. And then in the next iteration, you pick the maximum, which will be four. All right, and then four gets replaced with two. And then the next biggest number is gonna be three, that three that uh, that was here, right? And so with a K of three, you get seven plus four plus three equals 14 pieces, and that's what you're supposed to return. Um, and I also just kinda show it here. So we start with two, one, seven, four, two, and then at every step you pick the maximum and divide it by two, right? When you do the floor division. And you do this k times, and then you sum the sum the amounts. So that's the problem. Um, so now, how do we actually code this up? So one thing you could use is the is the heap q package here. So import heap q. So you can read read about the documentation here if you want, and also check out my other videos on on heap questions. So the basic idea is we want to always keep track of the maximum or the bag with the maximum number of candies, right? Um, so for that, we can use, we can create a heap from this list. So this is not necessarily a sorted list in any way. So what we do with the list is we do what's called heapify it. So we can do heap q dot heapify um, of the array. So let me show you what that actually looks like in Python. So if, uh, okay, let's create our list, two, one, blah, blah, blah. And then we import heap q. So heap q dot heapify, right? Transform a list into a heap in place. Uh, and it's in O of n time where n is the length of the heap, okay? So uh, let's do that. And then if we look at our list, um, it's changed, it's moved things around here, but it's not necessarily sorted. But the key property is here that the first one is always going to be the minimum, right? So by default, heapify um, creates a, like a min heap, right? Where the first one is always the minimum. Now, in our case, we actually want the, the maximum, right? Not the minimum. So a simple trick to get heapify to work, uh, to get it to be a max heap, uh, we can um, put a negative sign in front of every element of our list, right? So if we just change our list to be minus x for x in array, right? Now the minimum is actually going to be the maximum, or it's going to be, you know, it's going to be the negative, but it's going to be the right element. Um, so that's the first step to, to create our heap. And then we're going to create a num candies variable, which we're going to return at the end, right? Sorry, candies. And then what we have to do is pick the maximum, or in other words, pop from the heap k times. So we're going to iterate k times like this. And then we're going to pop from the heap. So we can do pop equals. So heap q dot heap pop. That's one of the methods here of our array, 
And remember, we put a minus sign here. So to undo the minus sign, we put another negative here. Okay. Um, and then we're going to add that to our num candies variable. Candies. Oh, I can't type. Sorry. Candies plus equal to pop. And then remember, we got to put back the uh, the floor of uh, of the amount divided by two. Um, so we can simply do heap q dot heap push onto our array here, and then we're going to divide what we popped by two with a floor division. So that in Python that's two two slashes like this, and we're gonna uh, we need that negative sign again because everything in our in our heap is negative, right? because we're maximizing instead of minimizing. It's kind of a kind of a trick here. And I believe that's all that's necessary to pass the test cases here. So let's uh, let's run it to make sure. So there are two it's testing two different things down here, two different cases. And we failed the first one. Let's see if I can figure out what we did wrong here. Um, Okay, let's see. So we should probably put the negative sign there, right? So first do the floor division and then and then add the negative sign. So let's run that. I think that's the issue. Okay, so that passed the test cases. Uh, let's talk about the time complexity, the runtime complexity here a little bit. So this is just going to be O of n, where n is the the length of of our uh, of our list, right? And actually, heapifying is also O of n. And here we're doing something k times. What are we doing? We're popping and we're pushing. Each of these is log is a log n operation, where n is the length of the array, right? So the total complexity is going to be something like O of n plus k times log n, something like that. And in terms of space complexity, it should be O of 1, because we're not creating any arrays or anything like that. We're doing everything in place. So it's kind of a cute little problem. Uh, I hope what I said makes sense to you. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much.